Good morning. Good morning. Okay, we're going to break all this down so that everybody can understand exactly what's going on. So I know you mentioned Sirius. Also, Arthur. Arthur was just recently adopted. Sirius no. is still looking for his forever home. I mean, come on. They are so cute, but they're also part of some really important research that is being done. So both of them have spina bifida, and also humans can have spina bifida as well. And so what they are doing is they are working on some treatments with the dogs to then correlate to see how that can translate into humans. So to try and explain this a little bit better, exactly how did this partnership come about? Well, we are having a really unique platform at the vet school where we have diseases that really mimic or identical to human disorders. Um, so our studies here can be translated uh, into human medicine and human discoveries um, just as, you know, human discoveries on their own. Yeah, and you know, I say this all the time, but we are so lucky to have UC Davis Med Center right in our backyard, but we're also lucky to have this vet hospital here too and have so many students who come from around the nation to come to this great vet school. And so let's start with the vet aspect of this, right? So what's happening with these dogs? How are you getting them into the program and what are you guys doing with them? Well, these dogs have spina bifida, which is a disease affecting the spinal cord. And it's also a disease that can affect people in a very similar way. And we can sometimes help these dogs a little bit with surgical repair, but the recovery that we get of their function is not very good. And so we have gone in partnership with people working on the same disease in people at the med center. And so what have you done for Arthur so far? Oh my gosh, look at Sirius. He's just like ready for nap time. That's a little oh, early for him. Uh, what, what? Oh my gosh, she is so cute. How has he not been adopted? Tummy. And also if he, does, if he does get adopted, he will need to still stay a part of this research program as well. So that will require um, getting, you know, getting him here to UC Davis too. But what, have you, what are some of the things that you guys have done for Arthur already? So Arthur has had surgery okay. to try to repair the part that we can with um, surgery. And he has also had an implant of stem cells at the point of the surgery um, to hopefully help restore more function. And does he seem like he's been doing better? It's difficult to say at this time. We are not through with the study. The okay. study is a, has a year's follow-up time. Um, and we evaluate various functions to see and monitor for improvement. Okay, obviously anything when we're talking about research can take a lot of time. Oh my gosh, just watching Sirius walk is so cute. Oh. So when we're talking about the human aspect of this, how are you guys working together to really try and figure this out and figure out some things that might work? Sure, this is really a very collaborative uh, project between the vet veterinary medicine and human medicine side. So I'm from the human medicine side, I'm an associate professor of surgery of school of medicine and I've been working on spina bifida related research for over 10 years primarily with my uh, uh, partner Dr. Diana Farmer who's a fetal pediatric surgery okay. surgeon for spina bifida especially so over the years actually we have been studying different type of stem cells different type of uh, scaffolds that can be used to repair the defect and in the past several years we uh, discovered that placenta derived stem cells are really uh, potent in repairing the neural tissue. We have been collaborating with Dr. Uh, Beth Sturges and Dory Borderson from the vet school, deriving stem cells from canine uh, dog's uh, placenta. Okay. We found that actually the stem cells in some in vitro studies, they can repair neural tissue, project, uh, regenerate neurons. Okay. So thank, that's where it, Thank goodness there are people this smart to figure all of this out. Because some of this is going right over my head. <laughs> Bottom line is stem cells, they're doing stuff with the dogs that can help the humans, and with the humans that can help the dogs. Also most important, Sirius still needs a forever home. Yeah. So if right. you want to adopt Sirius, it's Didn't NorCal know, Pet Rescue, me. get with them. And remember, he is still going to need to be a part of this research program. Yeah. But I mean, look at those little faces. Look yeah. at them. I mean, bulldogs are so charming. <laughs> <laughs> love them. I just love them. Oh, it's Sirius. So oh, that's great. a spot. Oh, that's a spot. Oh, that's a spot, right Arthur. You found it. Right oh. there, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs>